That's how it's live. Good. So I've turned back. Don't know how to change the default camera. Settings, Microsoft camera, Logitech. Here we go. Start. So Hangout is live. So how do you find the details of the thing? So this is the event. Well, I'm trying to do a live broadcast, uh, which I've set up. I now want to try and get you uh, on it. So, first of all, description. Oh, you want you want what well, you want to set up a live broadcast? You want me to see if I can connect to it. So I set up an event under Derek Mitchelson at gmail dot com. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, connect to it, and there it is. There. So I set up an event under Derek Mitchelson at gmail dot com. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, connect to it. And there it is there. So I set up an event under Derek Mitchelson at gmail.com. Yeah. Yes. I think that's the link for it there. For the broadcast. For YouTube. Can you go on YouTube? See if yeah. you can go on YouTube. How do you find that? Uh, how do you find that link? The, that link, um, well, I can just type it in onto this Chrome. YouTube.com slash watch. <coughs> Could email you the link. What's your email address? No, I think this one is piece. It equals no, frame. Got it okay. Profit. ND56, is it? Mm hmm. NDS. NDS. Capital S and a 6. Oh. Sure, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. But S6. Small M. Yep. Capital D. Capital B, small G. Right. What are you seeing? So when you click on play, Bizarre, isn't it? I feel like you see a team delayed version of a broadcast. Yeah, there it is. a quick cool one done. Yeah. Oh, you, what, how you set up a broadcast? Yeah, done that. Yeah. Is anyone needs my broadcast? Uh, 
Yeah, I've done one before. On the tutorial. On the PC. What you oh, just using the NVIDIA GeForce. Oh, yeah, that does it. Thing. Yeah, they have a they have okay. a broadcasting thing. So, so that was so that was one thing. So you can join via. So, so that you join oh, via. Oh, no, it's oh, no, it's quite. So you just joined via YouTube, didn't you? Yeah, which is fine. No. Uh, now, if I invite you to join this, yeah. uh, what's your email address? Mm -hmm. I want to see what happens when I send you this. Excuse me, you Did you my email address? Yeah. You know, I've got another email address anywhere, like it's supposed to be on my laptop or PC or anything. Yeah, my laptop, I've shown this thing on my dot com. You still get that? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not just on hotmail.com. Yeah. Yeah. We're going. See what happens when you went So that's a picture from up. So you, so you switch off your camera and stuff. And your sound. Oi, oi.
Hi Sean, Dad here. Scott. Yeah. How long will you need me for? Well, I think that I think that wee bit of the test of you is probably okay. So you so you can you can connect fine and you can hear me you can hear me fine on the call as well, can't you? Yeah, you sound fine. Which is the main thing and it, you kind of it's maybe slightly slower than slower than normal, but it looks kind of okay as well, doesn't it? So we're like half a second difference. Like I can hear you upstairs speaking, and you're only like, it, it yeah. Only sounds, yeah, we're not half a second slower. Yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, no, that's absolutely fine. And I think the uh, that's all okay. Control room is okay. Cameraman's. As guest joins, hide their audio and video from my broadcast. Yes. The large video that I see to my audience and hide the other video feeds. Yes. New guests in my large are muted when they join. Yes. So that should be fine. Uh, No, I think. Uh, Did you see that? What? No. Yeah. Sent it. So that appeared as well. The annotation, yes. So, so chat. So that could be. So, though, what I've said is that ideally, I want your camera to be off and muted. Which I can do from here, so that I've now muted you totally. Uh, you can still chat me back, which is what I want. Could try and send me a chat reply. Perfect.
Good afternoon, Coach. What's your board fire with that? Ah, wrong button. Yeah. Let's do it again. Good afternoon, Scottish Fish Board Family Dance. What was we speaking? Hi, Elizabeth. Derek here. Sorry, that was me. I pressed the wrong button and cut you off. That's all right. I really did. Didn't you want to speak to me? They've hung up. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I was trying to turn down the volume on the speaker I've got and I totally pressed the wrong button. I wasn't oh, looking. Oh, you've not got me on speaker phone but, here. But you answered, you answered it twice exactly the same, so that was quite impressive. So that was good. That's quite good. That's good. Um, <laughs> right, a couple of questions about that um, camera thing. Yeah. When I had a look, well, I just find out. I'll bring it back up again. Yep. Um, I just want a Logitech headset. So they seem to have, it's like four different options of that one. Um, so was it the, because when I kind of just search under that BC C950 or the, the thing that you sent me, it comes up with like a desktop video conference solution for private offices and they've got another one that looks like a, almost looks, looks like an external hard drive called Connect. And then another one called Meetup. That's about a thousand pounds. You said it was about 200, is that? Yeah, I think, I don't, I don't think we should be looking at anything that's over a few hundred pounds, to be honest. Yeah, you know, so, right, that's so, fine. I just wanted to double check before I started because then when I looked at it, I was like, right, okay, is this going to do us? Um, I was double check, right, that's fine. I'll just get ahead and just order that. And so, so, the, so the one the one I was looking at, I think it's, uh, you're right enough, there, there are a couple. The one, I've just picked one up on Amazon just now that seems to be about 290. So that's, that's it's a, it's a video conferencing camera is, is, what we're, is what we're ideally looking to uh Looking to get and use, so uh, let me see have a look on the, the the website. I mean, it does. We, we're using it for quite an unusual thing that uh, we, we're mainly wanting people to join us and watch a yeah. meeting ra rather than rather than be sitting around the table and it's sharing six people speaking. So it, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit more unusual what we are doing. Uh, you need to also have some thoughts as to what you're going to point at as well because. Uh, you know, I'm assuming that you're probably going to want this facing the, uh, well, certainly for the meeting part, facing the table as to where, you know, when it's been chaired so that uh, so that anybody anybody joining in is going to be seeing a, a video of yourself, Christine or whoever, sitting at a table talking yeah. through the meeting. And then I expect probably you would then be moving it so that uh, it will be then pointing at anybody if they're doing a lecture. Is that right? Yes, uh -huh. yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I'm not actually going to be at the meeting. That's what's going to be. Christine's, Christine's flying solo that day. Uh -huh. I'm not there, and Jean's not there either. Um, so, <laughs> what what, <laughs> what when's the meeting? It's the twenty fifth of February. Okay, I'm not, I'm not be there either. I'm in London. I know that. As a oh, right, okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it, might, it might be, it might be the wrong meeting to test it up then. Well, that's it. Um, but. <laughs> The thing is, we have the organisers meeting, which would be that day as well, which is a lot, um, wouldn't be as difficult, shall we say, um, you know, for that. I've actually got, I'm dialing into one tonight that's at Delco, mm -hmm. that Christine's actually there in attendance yeah. at, in person. So yeah. 
Um, but obviously that's very much just an organisers meeting. And how are you, how are you dialling into that? What are you doing to get into that? It was just a, um, we, we did a trial last week. It was actually just through, I think it was a free conference. Well, so literally I just click, clicked on the meeting invite on the on the machine and got into that. What software, was, what software are they using on the... Um, well, the, no, it was Lynn Erbrick. She actually sent me the... Um, they're using an application called Free Conference. Free Conference. Uh, Free conference, yeah. Um, so I can fire you. She sent me on the user guide for it. Yeah, it became the same. In, but I, I yeah. tested, I tested this at the weekend to see, to see one way of doing it. And uh, yeah, there's a thing called Free Conference Call dot com. Wonder if that's the one. Well, meetings and screen sharing software. Am I better send this to your Hotmail or your Google Mail address? Uh, it doesn't make any difference. They both, they both go to the same place, to be honest. Right, I'll just forward that on there. Um, yeah, so we did a test last week, um, and it was fine. It was literally, she sent me a, a meeting invite, so we kind of just basically clicked on it, and it worked. So what's going to be interesting is so she did it from her desktop at home. Mm -hmm. So obviously she's now going to be in a hotel situation, getting connected to the Wi-Fi because this is the whole thing as well. It's like how robust is it? Yeah. Um, yep. So I said to her, like, she's obviously going to be there earlier. I said, look, when you're set up, just drop me an email and I'll try and link in if we do it before the meeting, um, to make sure that, you know, that we can get in. Um, okay, but that's what they're using. But obviously it's purely just for an organizer's meeting. So it's mm -hmm. more just like mm -hmm. I like what you're saying, I'll see her. Yep. Um, I won't see the rest of the meeting, and that'll, that'll be fine for an organisers meeting. It's when we're trying to do technical lectures. Yeah, you would just at that point, you're definitely just going to have to turn turn the camera around. You know, yeah. remember, the camera's still going to be connected to a laptop as well. Yeah, so the laptop's going to have to be. So, so the laptop will be have to be logged wherever the camera is. You understand that, or you yes, know, I well, Christine's supposed to be coming in to do a trial session. Yeah. <laughs> Once we've got the stuff, so that we can try it all up in the office and make sure. Yeah, because I mean, um, things like mobile phones and stuff—they're not—they're not big enough and uh, to do that sort of thing. It has—it has to be a proper camera. Yes, you know? uh -huh. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, so no, I mean, we're quite happy to do that. I just wanted when I started looking at it, I was like, right, okay. Um, it was just when it gave me these four options, I was like, oh. And I knew you said it was about the two hundred pound mark. Yeah, like, two, okay, two, three, two, three hundred pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what I did here to test it is I actually set up a, I set up a YouTube channel. That's what I did to test it. You can do that, and you can actually broadcast live on YouTube. So that's how right. I did. That's how I did it to test it just now. And uh, you know, everybody, everybody uses YouTube. It was on that basis of, as a YouTube channel, and uh, you know, it, it's there for anyone to. Uh, you know, any, anybody that subscribes to the channel would then be able to actually dial in and watch it. But uh, there's, right. there's, there's various, there's, there's various, various ways. But uh, yeah, I'll have a look at the, I'll have a look at the link you send me through and see what they're using. See if that's something that that maybe that may be an option as well. You know, what, yeah. whatever. Well, what they said was what Lynn said to me is that for you know, and I think for a pilot, it's okay um, mm -hmm. because she says basically you, the host, and I think it's a host and nine participants. It's yep. free. Yeah, and then yeah, start to add in more tar more participants, and then there's a charge. Correct, that's right. Um, you know, and that's it. And I was thinking, well, you know, if we get to the stage of going down that route, are we paying? Do we want something that is a monthly charge, or is there something out there that office or office offers basically it's a charge when you use it? Because obviously, you know, we're potentially not going to use it on a monthly basis. Um, but you'll get at certain times of the year where we'll actually use it quite a <coughs> lot. Well, obviously the the YouTube channel I set up just now is free of charge for up to you know up to an unlimited number of people. It's YouTube, so that's right, how, yeah. So that might be another option then. If we're yeah. basically yeah going ahead with this with a YouTube channel. So that's how I did it because when I go, when I want to test it around, I I want to test it without paying any money to just to see what happened. And uh, of course that's I, exactly that. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And I was upstairs and the kids were downstairs. One was on their phone, believe it or not. One was on their computer and they they were connecting and seeing me live on YouTube. Which was quite right. interesting. So, uh, so that can work. I mean, there's a bit of logistics also around it as well as to, you know, as to, uh, you know, advertising it. That then, then, then making sure that you know exactly who's connected to it as well. Things like YouTube. I've not had a look to see how you would actually know how many people viewed it and 
how you tie it back to who it was and stuff. But I'm sure you can do all that because, you, you know, yeah. it's a bit like signing as well. You know, you sign at a meeting, you need to be able to sign into this to say that you were there. As far as as far as there's anybody actually watching it or taking or making or making the tea at the time, you can't do anything about that. No, you can't. That's it. Just <laughs> be um, honest. They can switch it on and walk away. Well, that's exactly it. But then you give them the what was the thing the the assessment to see if it's. I I I, always, I would always do that as well. I would always I would always do something in the middle and then say to them, okay, you need to go and now. If you're online, you need to go and now. Within half an hour, send us back the answer to the question or something. You know, I would always do some. Yeah. That's, anything I go on at CPD online, that's what they do. They either bring a question up online and you've got to click the button there and then, or they force you to do something that that means that you're uh, you're at least being attentive. So, yeah. Yeah, aye, that's something for them. But I think that's all part of this learning, and I'm sure I saw in some minutes that you know when the technical committee are doing the championship steps and premiership steps. You know, because I'm, I think the whole thing was it shouldn't just be for online stuff. It should be for people mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that are actually in the meeting because how many people are actually paying attention or s- sitting on their phone or or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, that's great. I'll get ahead and do this and I will keep digging about for um, whatever app we're going to use. I did download some free conference thing, but I'll have a... When I'm going to play about, I've got my own laptop in the office, so just like... Yeah try and set things up between the desktop and the laptop and see what we get. But yeah. That's great. Yeah, not a problem. I mean, I'm here to help. So, uh, you know, it might take yeah. me a day or two to come back because I'm, I'm, I'm off I'm Edinburgh's and trains and stuff. But I'll, I'll always come back in, in a couple of days. Right. All right. No, no, that's fine. That's all right. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, see you then. Okay. Bye. Cheers, Eric. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, we can get a little bit. I don't know. No, no, no. I've got a few more feathers, so I didn't put things on them tonight. If I forget again, I'll go in one column and then I'll pay the first one, right? Yeah, that's what I was um, trying to carry up, but I'm going to you don't. So I've got a bag to drop off for Liam as well. Yeah, so. You don't have any questions. You might phone to go where's your yeah, so we'll do that. Okay, enjoy this call. Hey Derek, how are you? I'm doing all right, Scott. Long time, long time. No, speak. I mean, I've been on on the end of a few a few Hi, calls. You've been Terry. on. Oh yeah. So you do not. Hi Terry, Scott here. Yeah. Hi Scott. Everyone's coming on. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi there. Hi, it's Emma. Hi, this is Dennis from Argus. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Not bad, thanks. Not bad. So we're just waiting on uh, Derek and Fraser. Hi, on. Derek's on. Oh, okay. They're the uh, they're a tech guy, so they'll know a lot more than me. 
about the tech side. All right. De Derek Savanella. Hi, it's Charles Toss. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? Yeah, <laughs> I've nearly, I've nearly made it. <laughs> <laughs> nearly made it through the day. We're just, uh, we're just waiting on Derek and Fraser to join. <laughs> Derek Zone, Emma, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, Hiya. Good. Hiya. I think Fraser's on as well. I can see Fraser on. Just uh... Oh, good. He hasn't said anything yet. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Hiya. Hi, yeah. Hi, Emma. Sorry about that. There was a ticket that we wanted to get in on WebEx for some reason. That's all right. Don't worry. Okay, so I think we're all here. So, so the the plan is that August are going to be moving into uh, the Finsbury Square office in London. Um, we only got the go ahead a couple of days ago, so this is sort of the first the first step for it. Um, we've got about five weeks to turn this around in, so I thought it would be good to all connect up and sort of talk about tech side of things because I'm keen to get that moving uh, as soon as possible. Um, in case you know, in case we hit any any hurdles. So um, obviously Derek and Fraser, you guys have a lot more knowledge than me on specific tech requirements and questions you need to be asking. Um, so if I hand it over to you guys, um, you can get going. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that, Emma. I think um, obviously five weeks. Um, that's quite an interesting time scale, and I guess from my point of view, um, apologies um, if, if this seems like a, a quite a straightforward question. But uh, what, what kind of numbers are we talking about? And, and what are we talking about in terms of the um, technology which is coming across in terms of laptops, desktops, desk phones, that kind of thing. And then we can probably then start to talk about some of the uh, more pertinent details once we get a view on that first and foremost. Yeah, so we've, um, we've got 20 desks allocated and one office um, in Finchbury Square. Okay, what, what floor is that on, Emma? So it's the fifth, fifth floor. Fifth floor. Okay. Okay. Which seems fair enough uh, in terms is, of the uh, numbers. Is, is Sean on the uh, call from uh, Argus UK? I don't believe so. Okay. Hi, hi, Charles. This is uh, Derek. How are you? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks. Good. What, what was your thoughts around? Uh, what, what, was, what was your thoughts around networking type uh, configurations for for coming into the office? You know, where, where you were you looking to daisy chain on the networking we've got, or are we talking about putting in putting in pipes for yourself, or, or trying to latch on to our wireless configurations? What what what, what thoughts did anybody had around uh, networking? Yeah, so um, I was hoping the uh, Sean would be on. I just thought we might start with uh, you know how many bodies are moving from one location to the other, but we can dive straight into the network. Um, we have a a uh, single rack of stuff. Yeah. Um, it's got some Cisco equipment. Uh, uh, the Cisco is also running our phone system um, out there. Uh, it has a SimpliVity um, yeah. uh, virtual solution in a box. Uh, we have a couple of virtual servers on there, um, you know, domain controllers. I think it uh, comprises about um, uh, uh, about actually a half a rack if yeah. you uh, subtract the uh, the patch panels. 
So uh, what I had envisioned is I've already made the recommendation that if we're going to be relying on getting a, a telecom uh, provided, six weeks is not enough runway to get a telecom and, and have success. Yeah. So we're hoping that you would have some uh, internet uh, for us that we could leverage uh, for this if you could provide us um, with a, a, a subset of uh, static IP addresses and a, a cross connect into uh, your internet connection, we should be able to punch that down and pretty much do an easy lift and shift of, uh, of, of our stack. Is that a possibility? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we've got. We're, I don't know what we've got an availability of internet at, uh, Lo at London. I do think we upgraded it. I think we've probably got uh, we've probably got a gig bearer. I think running out of it. I would need to. I need to check with me and network engineer Etienne as to uh, as to whether that was the case. If, if that is the case, then uh, then I'm, then I'm, I suggest that we probably do have substantial to do to do something temporarily for you. But I can take that away as an action to confirm, Charles. Right, because we could do one of two things. We could probably run off a cheap, like uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, cable uh, internet. Yep. You know, uh, maybe a non-standard. We don't move a lot of data uh, back and forth. Um, uh, basically, it's uh, domain controllers for login, a local file server, um, and that's basically the uh, the, the resources uh, out there. Uh, so uh, the communication back to our Somerset uh, data center. Um, doesn't need to be uh, you know, extremely robust. Uh, I don't know the number we're working on right now off the top of my head in the um, uh, uh, UK right now. Um, uh, Dennis is on the line. Dennis is going to be um, uh, running point for us on this here. Um, we be uh, collecting the scope of what we have, and uh, I'm expecting by next Wednesday we should be in pretty good shape with you know, uh, you know, uh, documenting exactly what we have and, and what our needs are and the requirements. Um, but uh, uh, on the phone system, uh, you know, uh, Varisk is globally going to Skype, so uh, we think it would be in our best interest at this time to port over our UK users to Skype. Uh, that also requires internet access. Sorry, Scott, is, is that something which is going to be possible in the timelines that we're talking about here? Chuck and his guys okay with that? Yeah, we probably uh, need to... Uh, you got like a 30 day, 30 days to, to port. So okay. we'd have to have the information, the DID information like today. Yeah, because otherwise we're running a, a SIP trunk uh, from um, uh, British Telecom and uh, I can be pretty confident we're not getting a second SIP trunk uh, installed uh, <laughs> in this timeline. So, yeah. you know, internet VoIP phones are really uh, our only option at this point. And we'll have to port those numbers over. Okay, and are you thinking about having Skype handsets, or is it purely going to be virtual handsets on the uh, on the desktop? Uh, it would be uh, Skype handsets. Right. Okay. And you'd be you'd be looking to connect from the desktops uh, using structured cabling back to whatever we provide, rather than across the Wi-Fi short term. Um, yeah, we actually have uh, our own Wi-Fi that we're running, so sure. um, uh, we we would be able to uh, you know plug that in. Uh, I don't know that we have the structured cabling for our Wi-Fi access points, um, so the, uh, the the Wi-Fi is uh, definitely a convenience and a luxury at this point. I don't know that if it's a, a requirement for the move, we can always catch up on Wi-Fi at a later time. Uh, but uh, we're we're running uh, uh, three Aruba uh, wireless access points right now that punches down into our uh, our Cisco system. Um, so it uh, again, it'd be nice uh, and easiest for everyone if we could just lift the shift and if we can just punch down um, uh, all of our stuff on the existing structured cabling. Uh, that would be uh, our our best move forward. We think. Okay. Well, what are you looking to do for? Are you are you bringing printers across as well, Charles? Get to them to. We probably yeah. We, uh, yeah, is, uh, we have no one on the line from. Uh, uh, oh, there's someone from UK on there. Is 
Yeah, so uh, I don't know what the uh, the printer footprint is, but I would imagine there's got to be at least uh, one color and one black and white. Okay. But like I said, Hi, Carl, we're going to get the three printers. Oh, okay. there. Hey, sorry. Hello. Hello. And anyway, this is we we've got a contiguous space uh, in Finsbury for for them, so they'll, they'll not be spread out. They'll be they'll be in one one static area of the office. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So it's um, across two two banks of desk, so two banks of ten, and then the office. Okay, so just I'm just summarising where, where we've got to so far. So uh, two banks of ten uh, next to each other. We are ideally looking to uh, to locate half a rack of converged infrastructure, uh, with us providing some cross connects, some static IPs, and uh, reconfiguring some structured cabling into these into that uh, static IPs. And you'd be looking initially to do everything across uh, if we can if we can actually give you some of our internet connection to connect us into. Then we'd initially look to do that. And then ideally, Charles, you're ordering 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 some wires to come into the building and uh, we would we'd swap over to these wires when that's ready. Yeah, that would be uh, uh, the ideal setup. Okay. Or if we, uh, you know, we get a mutually sized uh, uh, internet connection, you know, that would service, uh, you know, the whole office that we could share. Maybe that's the, the way to do it. But uh, uh, the timeline right now doesn't, uh, you know, I, I think we need yeah. to get moved and then worry about uh, the right to design after. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I mean, I think the, I think what we need to go and do now is the takeaways for me to go and speak to, speak to the networking team just, just to see, to see how. Uh, how viable that plan is, what we've got, what uh, spare capacity we've got well, on the internet down there, and then uh, and then come back to you as quickly as we can to see uh, to see where we are. I think I don't think there's probably anything else we need at this point, Fraser, because we've got numbers, we've got locations, we know yeah. we know at high level what the plan is, what we're trying to do. Yeah. So uh, and it's lift and shift of kit, so it, is, it should yeah. be it should be okay from uh, an end user computing perspective as well. So. It should be, and you'll be you'll be supporting yeah. you'll be supporting all this yourself, Charles. There's no asking us to do to do any additional desktop support or, or anything on the ground. Is that right? No, no, not at all. We uh, we we do it uh, from here. Okay. Cool. I mean, I mean, I'll just I mean, I'll we'll throw that in the mix and say that uh, you know it's always uh, it's. As you know, as you know, per the conversation we had in December, it's always something that I'd be more than happy to have a conversation about sharing resources and uh, you know spread, spreading the load a bit and doing a bit more as well so uh, you know we can have that conversation after we've got moved in yeah yeah that would be uh, that would be fantastic um and uh, i have been thinking about that uh, as well um because i know that uh, uh you know john is concerned uh, as the uh, you know argus has gone international yeah um our support structure is really only uh, uh, uh Effective, if that's a word you would use for uh, uh, you know our US based uh, time zones. Yeah, yeah. No, I realise that. I mean, I had, a, I, I, I had, I had some follow up conversations with Robert, uh, Robert Don, and, and uh, Jeff to get again. So, uh, so yeah, let, let's focus on doing this. But uh, that's, that's definitely an option. So, uh, let me get back to you as early as I can uh, next week. Uh, again, I'll lay everything through Emma. Just now, it'll be easier to have that one point to go through and. Uh, We'll probably jump on a call uh, maybe sort of uh, Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, uh, by Wednesday we should have the exact scope and requirements That's fine. Um, for that. Uh, we have we have some um, uh, uh, some uh, other commitments that we have to do Monday, Tuesday. So um, uh, I expect uh, we'll have it sooner and uh, distributed, but uh, uh, I think we'll definitely get. Um, what our needs are, and then, <clears throat> me, and again, it's just 
Um, uh, I, I feel like if uh, uh, if uh, you know the Argus UK guys can, can arrange for the uh, the physical moving with movers and things, uh, we'll be able to send a resource out there for the racket stack. And uh, if we just get uh, 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 you know cross connects that have uh, you know, publicly routable static IPs, we should be able to figure out all the rest. It's our San Francisco move playbook uh, all over again. <laughs> Uh, we've not, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got no GTM into San Francisco yet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's something that we're, uh, something that we're still talking in the details of. So, uh, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> what, what's the, um, what's the deadline? What date we have to be moved by? By um, the absolute latest day, is the sixteenth of March, which is Friday. So it cannot be. Any later than that because um, lease in the current building is fine on the 18th. Okay. And then um, who, who's going to own sort of the follow up tasks on the uh, on the existing space? Things like, um, you know, what are the lease terms? Is it room cleaned? You know, is there going to be gear that needs to be disposed of that's going to be left there? Or, um, is there somebody on site who owns that, Charles? Um, we haven't figured that out yet. I'm going to take back uh, um, from this meeting, uh, take it back to John Jones, and we're going to organize uh, roles and responsibilities uh, along uh, those types of things. If you've got a, a short list that you want to prime uh, for us and send it to us or be part of that conversation as well, um, that would be great too. Um, but uh, that's our next uh, step is to have an internal meeting about who owns what. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh been through this many times so if you want to invite me uh feel free i can uh, provide any value i can okay um yeah the uh, i think the, the most important uh, aspect is going to be getting the uh, the skype conversation started yeah yeah if we want to port again it's typically about 30 days so if we can gather information this week ne early next week we can get that in the hands of people who can do that <laughs>